The inspiration for Blue Love came from a karaoke bar, believe it or not, in Vienna. I was sitting in a beer garden, there was a karaoke machine, and I was singing with Joe Stone a lot of 80s love ballads. And we were singing these songs and just thinking, these are awesome, they're so bad, but they're so universally good. And, and in my mind popped an entire scene made from the one-liners of pop songs from all time. <laughs> We were really interested in the notion of romantic love, like you've got high art, sculpture, painting, um, classical music, then you've also got um, pop songs, you know. So I was interested in the collision between high art and popular culture. They all talk about love, it's a really common subject matter. And so in Blue Love it's, it's like, you know, a high art um, music or art gallery event clashing with popular culture or an MTV music video clip. So basically, Blue Love is about Glenn and Rhonda Floon, a married couple, and they believe they're the love gurus of romantic love, so they invite the audience into their living room, which is the stage design, and they hand out beer, popcorn, and then they begin to show the audience a series of home movies up on the screen and they feature in their own home movies. So they're very much like film critics. After each film they watch it with the audience and they give a, a discourse on the performance that they saw and what can we learn about that particular short film. And um, it's, it's, it's then a journey from them. It's sort of like, they call it the love arena. It's sort of quite nice because the audience <laughs> Uh, fall in love with Glenn and Rhonda and they want them to work out, you know, and it's sort of <laughs> like um, they go on this journey with Glenn and Rhonda and at the end they come out <laughs> sort of laughing. We didn't, when I wrote the show, I didn't realise it would be so funny. Whenever I do this show, it always makes me feel good and the audience feel good, which is great.